space is continually offering up new mysteries for scientists and astronomers to unpack and attempt to solve. And although it often seems as though many of these mysteries are unsolvable, every day we get closer to understanding more and more about the infinite vastness that stretches out beyond our own planet Earth. Whether it is strange phenomena in our own galaxy or mystifying occurrences hundreds upon hundreds of light years away, scientists have set out to uncover as much as they possibly can about the cosmic world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at interesting discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of the final frontier. NASA Discovers New World Finding new planets isn't quite the big deal as it used to be in the medieval ages. While humans may have initially believed that the universe began and ended with the solar system, we now know that the universe is home to 10 to the power of 25 planets, a truly staggering number. That said, it isn't very often that we discover a planet that shares the same coveted characteristics of Earth. Planets in the often described Goldilocks zone, where it's not too hot or too cold, are a keen interest for scientists and the general public, as they point to the possibility of future colonies or even different forms of life. In January of 2020, NASA announced their discovery of one of these hospitable planets. The discovery was made by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, also known as TESS. The Earth-sized planet orbits within the habitable Goldilocks zone of its nearby star. This ideal location means that it could be possible that conditions would allow for liquid water on the planet's surface. The planet, named TOI-700D, was confirmed using NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite has discovered its first Earth-sized planet in its star's habitable zone. The range of distances where conditions may just be right to allow the presence of liquid water on the surface. Scientists confirmed the find, called TOI-700D, using NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope and are using the discovery to point towards other Earth-like planets. Paul Hertz, Astrophysics Division Director at NASA said, TESS was designed and launched specifically to find Earth-sized planets orbiting nearby stars. Planets around nearby stars are easiest to follow up with larger telescopes in space and on Earth. Discovering TOI-700D is a key science finding for TESS. Confirming the planet's size and habitable zone status with Spitzer is another win for Spitzer as it approaches the end of science operations this January. The planet's star, TOI-700, is small and cool. It is a dwarf star and is located in the Dorado constellation just above 100 light-years away. The star is approximately 40% of the mass of our Sun and has roughly half of our Sun's surface temperature. Scientists know that TOI-700 has three planets and the team originally believed the star was much more similar to our Sun, with the planets appearing to be much larger and hotter than they actually are. When the error was discovered, scientists noticed that the accurate readings indicated that TOI-700D would fit comfortably into the zone hospitable to life. Emily Gilbert, a graduate student at the University of Chicago, said, When we corrected the star's parameters, the sizes of its planets dropped, and we realized the outermost one was about the size of Earth and in the habitable zone. Additionally, in 11 months of data we saw no flares from the star, which improves the chances TOI-700D is habitable and makes it easier to muzzle its atmospheric and surface conditions. The planet closest to the star, named TOI-700B, is incredibly similar to Earth's size. The planet is most likely rocky and finishes its orbit every 10 days. The next planet, TOI-700C, completes its orbit every 16 days, is just over two and a half times the size of Earth, and is probably mostly made up of gases. The final planet, TOI-700D, is the one which shows the most promise towards habitability. The planet is estimated to be 20% bigger than Earth and takes in 80% of the energy that the Sun sends to Earth. Each one of these planets is believed to be tidally locked, meaning that they make one rotation per orbit, meaning one side is perpetually in daylight. 
the fastest growing black hole. When we think of black holes, we usually think of giant space vacuum cleaners eating everything they come into close contact with and pulling anything unfortunate enough to enter their paths. But not all black holes grow at the same speed, and some actually grow much faster than others. If 2020 wasn't scary enough, it also marks the year where scientists confirmed the existence of what is now known as the fastest growing black hole ever recorded. In 2018, at the Australian National University, a team of researchers discovered the black hole with the short name of J2157. After years of investigation, the team examined the object's mass and matter intake to better understand the black hole's condition. What they found was staggering. Using the very large telescope in Chile, the team knew that the black hole is actually a quasar. Technically speaking, quasars are very bright centers of space that surround supermassive black holes as they pull in matter. As the matter is dragged into the black hole, energy is ejected out in massive amounts, and we can observe this energy all across the electromagnetic spectrum. The matter that surrounds the black hole's edge moves at incredible speeds, almost the speed of light. This has left some scientists to describe the phenomenon as a natural particle accelerator. We now know that J2157 is actually 34 billion times the mass of our Sun. For comparison, the Milky Way is home to the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A star. Our black hole is a meager 4.2 million solar masses, roughly 8,000 times less than J2157. Amazingly, if you were to swap Sagittarius A star with J2157, it would shine 10 times brighter in the sky than the Moon. The rate that J2157 is growing is equally astounding. Believe it or not, the Behemoth black hole actually grows roughly one solar mass each Earth day. That's one size of our Sun, every 24 hours. It's also about 3.8 planet Earths every second that passes. Team researcher Dr. Foyan Bian, an astronomer from the European South Observatory, said the following of the discovery. We knew we were on to a very massive black hole when we realized its fast growth rate. How much black holes can swallow depends on how much mass they already have. So for this one to be devouring matter at such a high rate, we thought it could become a new record holder. And now we know. However, luckily for us, J2157 is roughly 12.5 billion light years away. This means that we are observing it when the universe was 10% of the age it is now. Scarily, this also means the black hole is likely much, much larger today and its size could be unimaginable. While black holes may mystify and terrify us, there's no denying that there is plenty more for us to learn about the universe's most destructive and gargantuan celestial bodies. Water on the Moon As scientists and researchers have continued in the push to investigate the possibility of humans eventually living on the Moon, a keystone question that has remained unanswered is the presence of water on the Moon. The Moon technically experiences day and night just like Earth, where half of the surface is being lit by the Sun while the other half is in shadow. However, the lunar days and nights are both around 14 hours long each, which, combined with the fact that the Moon lacks the thick protective atmosphere of Earth, means that water likely has a very small chance of surviving the over 400 degree temperature swing from night to day. And yet, against all odds, two years ago, water was discovered in the form of ice in the coldest and darkest regions of the Moon, where the Sun could not reach due to the natural formations of crevices and canyons in the Moon rocks, leading researchers to hypothesize that water could survive below the surface. However, the discoveries recently progressed a step further when researchers on the world's largest flying observatory, NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, also known as SOFIA, detected traces of molecular water on the surface within reach of the harsh sunlight. This means that water could be potentially much more widespread across the surface than previously thought. The water that was found was molecular water, 
which means that it is simply isolated water molecules that are spread too thin to form the liquid or ice that we are used to on Earth. Scientists don't know how the water molecules appeared on the surface of the Moon and how they managed to survive the harsh temperatures, but they speculate that micrometeorites that frequently crash into the Moon might have ejected the water molecules on impact, surrounded by glass-like remnants of the micrometeorites that protect it from the Sun. Scientists analyzing the surface of the Moon have previously found hints of possible hydration on the surface of the Moon, but were unsure as to whether it was actually water or the structurally similar molecule hydroxyl. However, the researchers on Sophia were able to use their unique technology to observe a water molecule-specific wavelength, which no other spacecraft is designed to do in a small slice of the Moon. This creates a problem of determining how widespread these water molecules could be across the rest of the surface, as well as how it is formed, stored, and if there is any sort of water cycle with such a thin atmosphere. As much of a revelation as these discoveries are, they still leave many questions for researchers, discussing whether life on the Moon is possible in the near future, and much more research is needed to answer these questions. Asteroids and Near Misses NASA are constantly discovering new objects out there in the universe, and one of the most recent ones comes in the form of an asteroid. It's been called 2019 JB1, and researchers have said that it's going to be heading towards the Earth at extremely high speeds. It's been calculated that the asteroid will pass us on the 20th of May, according to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, it will be travelling at 58,000 miles per hour. It's thought this asteroid is between 5,500 and 1,290 feet across, or 160 to 400 meters. Back in 2018, we saw more than 91 near-miss hits of different asteroids of all sizes passing by our fragile blue planet. The notion of this number is that out of the 91 asteroids that passed by us, only 30 of these asteroids were seen coming prior to their passing and only two of those were discovered one year ahead of the near-miss event. This means that for more than 89 of the asteroids nearly striking the Earth in 2018, only two of them could have been prevented with our current technology, showcasing just how fragile and dangerous these large celestial bodies can be. Another asteroid NASA scientists are keeping a close eye on is known as 2012 x 134 it was first observed back on the 13th of December in 2012. It was then seen quickly passing by us again on the 18th of April of this year. Researchers have said, however, that this asteroid is going to pass close by in the coming years and that we could see it colliding with our planet with ease. Fortunately for us, the size of the asteroid is only roughly 90 meters in length at its longest point, and when calculating the velocity and angle of entry along with the general makeup of the rock, the asteroid should more than safely break up in the atmosphere before getting anywhere close to the ground. Despite this good news, NASA appears to be keeping a close eye on the asteroid, as it has been catalogued more than 91 times since its first discovery back in 2012. But what do you make of these space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.